two projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project title Identifying Influential Users on Instagram through Visual Content Analysis. Introduction. The project aims to identify influential Instagram users by analyzing the visual content, utilizing a data set that contains a substantial amount of image data. This data set serves as the foundation for training models to recognize patterns indicative of influence within the images shared on Instagram. Traditional methods for gauging influence on social media platforms like Instagram rely on metrics such as follower count and engagement rates. However, these methods often fail to account for users who wield significant influence through the quality and impact of the visual content. Moreover, manual assessment of visuals is laborious and prone to bias, hampering scalability. To address these limitations, the project employs deep learning techniques to automatically analyze visual content and identify influential users on Instagram. By leveraging large data sets containing images and corresponding engagement metrics, the system learns complex patterns and features indicative of influence. This approach surpasses traditional metrics, allowing for a more nuanced evaluation of user influence based on the content they share. By focusing on visual content analysis, the project provides a deeper understanding of user influence beyond their quantitative metrics. This approach enables researchers to uncover subtle nuances within the content shared by users, offering valuable insights into the dynamics of influence on Instagram. As a result, the project contributes to a more comprehensive understanding of user influence in the realm of social media. Objective. The project aims to accurately identify influential users on Instagram by analyzing the visual content, providing marketers with valuable insights into potential collaboration opportunities and targeted advertising strategies. Leveraging advanced algorithms such as deep learning techniques, the project utilizes convolutional neural networks CNNs like ResNet, AlexNet, and custom architectures tailored for image analysis tasks. These algorithms enable the system to effectively analyze and interpret visual content, facilitating the identification of influential users. Instagram posts are categorized into influencer post detected or non-influencer post detected classes, allowing for the differentiation between content shared by influential users and those with lesser impact. This classification aids in streamlining marketing efforts and research endeavors focused on understanding influence dynamics on the platform. The performance of the project is evaluated using various metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and FN score. These metrics serve as indicators of the model's effectiveness in correctly identifying influential users based on their visual content, providing valuable feedback for further refinement and optimization. Marketers benefit from the project by gaining access to a more targeted approach to advertising through the identification of influential users. Researchers obtain insights into the intricacies of influence dynamics on Instagram, aiding in the development of strategies and methodologies for studying social media influence. Additionally, users benefit from the project by discovering valuable content and connections within the platform, enhancing their overall Instagram experience. Software and hardware requirements. Hardware requirements of the project are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8GB and above, hard disk of 25GB and above. Software requirements of the project are application is Anaconda, primary language is Python, front end framework is Flask, back end framework is Jupyter Notebook, database is SQLite 3, front end technologies used in the project are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Working modules or flow of work. To implement this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is importing libraries. This step involves importing essential libraries and frameworks required for data processing, model building, and web development. These include TensorFlow and Keras for deep learning, Flask for web development, and libraries like NumPy and Pandas for data manipulation. Importing data set. Here, the data set containing Instagram posts and associated engagement metrics is imported into the project environment. 
This data set serves as the foundation for training and evaluating the deep learning models. Data pre-processing. Data pre-processing is crucial for preparing the data set for model training. This involves tasks such as handling missing values, encoding categorical variables, and scaling numerical features. Pre-processing ensures that the data is in a suitable format for analysis. Splitting the data into train and test. The data set is split into two subsets, training data and testing data. The training data is used to train the deep learning models while the testing data is reserved for evaluating the performance and generalization capabilities. Training and building the model. This stage involves training deep learning models, particularly models like convolutional neural networks on the training data. The models are constructed and optimized to accurately identify influential users based on the analysis of the visual content. Performance comparison. After training the models, their performance is compared using various evaluation metrics such as accuracy, precision recall, and f score. This comparison helps in selecting the most effective model for predicting influential users. Flash framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. This component integrates the Flash web framework with the SQLite database to implement user authentication functionalities. Users can sign up for new accounts and sign in to access the application securely. User gives input. Users provide input data which will be in the form of images related to Instagram posts. The given input is pre-processed for prediction. The input data provided by users undergoes pre-processing steps similar to those applied to the original data set. This ensures that the input is formatted correctly and ready for prediction by the trained models. Trained model is used for prediction. The pre-processed input data is passed through the trained deep learning models to predict whether the input corresponds to an influential user or not. The models analyze the visual content to make these predictions. Final outcome is displayed through front end. The final prediction outcome along with additional insights or information is displayed to the user through the front end interface of the application. Users can interpret the results and make informed decisions based on the predictions made by the system. Algorithms used to implement this project, we have utilized the following algorithms. The first algorithm is ResNet, Residual Neural Network. ResNet is a deep learning architecture known for its ability to train very deep neural networks effectively. It introduces skip connections or shortcuts that skip one or more layers, which helps elevate the vanishing gradient problem and enables training of deeper networks. In the project, ResNet is used as a backbone architecture for image feature extraction capturing intricate patterns and features from Instagram images to identify influential users. Coming to the next algorithm, which is AlexNet. AlexNet is one of the pioneering deep convolutional neural network architectures, notable for its success in winning the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge in 2012. It consists of multiple convolutional and pooling layers, followed by fully connected layers. AlexNet can effectively extract features from images, making it suitable for image classification tasks. In this project, AlexNet is employed to extract features from Instagram images and identify influential users based on these features. Techniques used. The first technique used in the project is GIST. GIST is a feature descriptor used for scene recognition and image classification tasks. It captures the overall structure and layout of an image by extracting representative features. In the project, GIST is utilized as one of the feature descriptors for extracting essential information from Instagram images, aiding in the identification of influential users based on the overall visual content. Blur. Blur detection algorithms are used to identify the level of blurness in images. They analyze the sharpness and clarity of edges within an image to determine whether it is blurry or sharp. In the project, blur detection algorithms are applied to assess the quality of Instagram images. Images with high levels of blur indicate lower quality content, potentially affecting the influence of the user who posted them. Color histograms. Color histograms represent the distribution of colors in an image. They provide insights into the color composition and dominant colors present in an image. 
in the project color histograms are used as features to analyze the color characteristics of instagram images this information help in understanding the visual appeal and impact of the content shared by users comparison graphs comparison graphs offer a visual breakdown of how our models perform across essential evaluation metrics models are compared with the evaluation metrics accuracy precision recall and fn score this is the accuracy comparison graph here on the x axis we have algorithm name and on the y axis we have accuracy score accuracy is a measure of the overall correctness of a classification model it calculates the ratio of correctly predicted instances both true positives and true negatives to the total number of instances this is fn comparison graph here on the x axis we have algorithm name and on the y axis we have fn score fn score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall it is a balanced measure that considers both false positives and false negatives it is calculated as two times the product of precision and recall divided by the sum of precision and recall it provides a single metric that balances precision and recall making it useful when we want to consider both false positives and false negatives in the evaluation this is precision comparison graph here on the x axis we have algorithm name and on the y axis we have precision score Precision is a metric that assesses the accuracy of positive predictions made by the model. It calculates the ratio of true positives, correctly predicted positive instances, to the total number of positive predictions, true positives plus false positives. The algorithm which is performing best in all the evaluation metrics will be used for prediction. Execution. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. this is the code folder this is the static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is the templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it includes files like index.html about.html and more which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic It includes code written in Python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is notebook dot ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. This is signup dot db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. First, we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. Here, I am copying the path. Now, open the Anaconda prompt. Use the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. Here I'm typing python space app.py and hit enter. This command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address. local host which is this and port which is this now copy this local link provided by the flask framework i'm copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome and hit enter the home page of the project is displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework If we are new users, we need to register first. But I have already registered myself, so click on login link here. Here we need to enter the username and the password which we have registered, and then click on login. We have logged in successfully, and we are redirected to the prediction page. Here we need to upload Instagram posts, and the application will predict whether the uploaded image is influencer post or not. Click on choose file to select the image. So here I'm selecting this image. Now click on open. So here we can see that the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. This is the uploaded image, and the given input image type is influencer post detected. 
So this is the post of an influencer. Let us upload some more images. Click on try again. Choose file. Now click on upload button. This is the uploaded image. And for the given input image, the type is non-influencer post detected. It means that this image is non-influencer's post. Let us upload some more images. Click on upload button. This is the uploaded image. And for the given input image, the type is influencer post detected. Click on try again. This is the uploaded image. And for the given input image, the type is influencer post detected. Click on try again. Let us upload one image from the Google. So here. This is the image which I want to upload. So save this image. In the pictures folder as Insta image. Let us upload the same image. Click on choose file. Select the image. Now click on upload button. This is the uploaded image. For the given input image, the type is influencer post detected. Let us upload some more images. Click on choose file. This is the uploaded image. And for the given input image, the type is influencer post detected. In this way, just by uploading the images, we can predict whether it is influencer post or not. Now click on sign out link here. The conclusion of the project is the conclusion underscores the effectiveness of the project's approach in accurately identifying influential users on Instagram by analyzing visual content. This signifies the successful achievement of the project's primary objective. It provides a summary of the insights obtained throughout the project. This includes understanding the key characteristics of influential visual content and recognizing common patterns of features associated with influential users. These insights contribute to a deeper understanding of user influence dynamics on Instagram. The project utilizes the ResNet model to develop the front end of the application by integrating ResNet's capabilities for visual content analysis into the user interface, the project enhances the user experience and enables users to interact with the platform effectively. The conclusion discusses potential avenues for future research and development. This includes refining existing models to improve performance, exploring additional features or algorithms to enhance analysis capabilities, and extending the project's scope to include other social media platforms beyond Instagram. These suggestions pave the way for continued advancements in the field of social media influence analysis. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.